This is the biconditional statements tutorial. In a biconditional statement, one statement is true if and only if the other statement is true. So what that means is if x, the premise or hypothesis of a conditional statement, leads to y, and if y leads to x, then it's a biconditional statement. Take a look at this example. If an asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, then it is a meteoroid. Well, an asteroid is a big ball of, let's say, rock hurtling through space. And the only time it becomes a meteoroid is if it actually enters the Earth's atmosphere. So you could rearrange it if you wanted. Right now it's arranged as premise leads to conclusion. But you could also rearrange it the other way and it would still be valid. You could begin with your conclusion. If an asteroid is a meteoroid, then it has entered the Earth's atmosphere. So in that case, y, the conclusion, has led to x. So since this is a biconditional statement, you can write it either way, x leads to y or y leads to x. It should be written as a biconditional statement, and the formal way of writing a statement as a biconditional statement is to say an asteroid is a meteoroid if and only if it enters the Earth's atmosphere. The if and the only if is the incredibly important part of the biconditional statement, if and only if. Let's take a look at another example. Here's our conditional statement. If you fail a test, then you did not receive a passing grade. So the hypothesis, or the premise, is if you fail a test, and the conclusion is then you did not receive a passing grade. However, you could write that the opposite way as well, the converse of this statement. If you did not receive a passing grade, then you failed the test. So, because you can write it as the regular conditional statement format as it is in right now, or in the converse, and it's true both ways, then it can be a biconditional statement. And you could write it as you fail a test, if and only if you do not receive a passing grade. So remember the if and only if. Biconditional statements work when the hypothesis leads to the conclusion and if you rearranged it the conclusion would still lead to the hypothesis. Both ways would have to be true for a typical conditional statement to be a biconditional statement.